Hello, Samoa Joe, the Samoan Submission Machine. And you are watching Jiggy Jag TV. <laughs> it's Jiggy Jag TV. <laughs> she is so entertaining. And uh, we're sitting in New Jersey, of all places. Red Bank, New Jersey. And apparently it was established in 1908. Who knew that? But uh, I got my man, Alfonso Lays. What is going What's on, up? baby? What's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> So, I have seen all sorts of stuff going on this week. <laughs> a lot of stuff I can't talk about. <laughs> true, right? True. Fucking true. <laughs> and some of that I'll fill in with you after the interview's over with. <laughs> yeah, because it's been wild. I'll, 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 I'm wild. on break kayfabe, and I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you it all. But uh, there is all sorts of things happening. Mm -hmm. And... I have watched you today disappear around the corner and go up and, as the rappers say, put in work. <laughs> all day, all day, all day. So you go from shoot to shoot to shoot to shoot, and the only thing I see you do is t stop for five minutes, do a little dance, drink a bottle of water, and you're on to the next one. What in the world are you doing? How are you doing this? So it's all about strategy. It's about strategy, mentality, and knowing your body. And a lot of us performers, if you've been in the business for more than 10 years, it's a, it's like automatic at some point. Yeah. Because I mean like you can just go, but you have to go at a moderate pace. Because if you burn out like your first oh, yeah. or your second you burn scene, out, you burn out. So if you if you control your scenes and you know your settings and you know how to control your body, you're fine. But outside of that, pretty much you're done after that first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I I see you all over the place. And you're always repping the you you've always got everything going. Yeah. The chains, the the whole thing. Yeah. But I never see you in these porn pictures at these conventions with like these name porn people. Why don't we ever see this? If I'm not working with you or shooting with you, what's the purpose of me smiling in your face? I mean, it's, it, it, it gets to a point where it's great to, you know, for notoriety and recognition, right? Oh, yeah. But the notoriety and recognition in our world turns into what the fuck is the content? <laughs> That's right. So, for me, being not only a marketing person, a brand, a business, being my own mogul and knowing strategies, there's no purpose in me taking a picture with a person that I'm not working with. Yeah. So, that's my that. big thing. That's the big thing for me. So, with the porn thing. You, just watching you work today, I've known you for, goddamn, since God was a baby, kind of thing. Yeah, it's been like 10 <laughs> years, bro. <laughs> and just watching you work today has been like a master's class. <laughs> you know, from the way From the way you roll in, from the way you deal with the camera people, to the producers, to the to the people that are just hanging out, to the other people you're working with. It's like a master's class. So <laughs> you, 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 you pick the pieces from pages and you're learning your strategy on how you want to conduct yourself and not only yourself, but you want to build your brand because you don't want your professionalism to leave a stain. Because that's, a, you know, it's hard to get away from the stain. So just knowing not only the environment that you're in, but being able to read the room is one of the greatest things that I've picked up over time. Yeah. And we're all human. <laughs> I can make a motherfucker laugh. So if I can at least, you know, ease that pressure or break that ice, it makes the room a little bit more comfortable and the environment a little bit more easy. Because if there's a lot of tension, then your first shoot gonna be shit. Yeah. So, so, let's get off the porn thing. <laughs> because you are more than just a porn guy. Yeah. Talk to me about your music. Because you got some cool shit coming. Oh, so, um, Alfonso Lays the Crown is coming. 
Uh, OW Presents, Porn Bread Incorporated, Alfonso Lane for Crown. It was an idea from my co-owner and best friend, Unique Leo. By the way, I interviewed her earlier. I don't know why she isn't doing more of this crap. What <laughs> she like, is so well-spoken and she, 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 runs, can, she, she can runs teach a fucking class on how to market this shit. I mean, but the thing is, is that, you know, due to the fact that we're a small company and it's only two employees, me and her, yeah. people look at us and go, you shot who? You did what? You won an award? You're, you're what? Oh, we're going to get to that. <laughs> it, 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 it's literally mind-boggling that you learn the infrastructure of a business by building it from your ground up. Oh, yeah. And they don't get it. That's why we have the only hands for only hands. <laughs> <laughs> so with the, the music, mm -hmm. I've seen some music videos. I hear there's more music videos. Talk to me about what we got going on with this. So um, as of right now, working on the album, I decided to reach back and start creating music videos because technology back then when I first started pushing certain products weren't the same as they are now. Certain cameras, DJIs, Osmos Pros, those weren't literally available. We didn't yeah. have the technology. So now that we have the technology, I decided that it may be old to me, but it's going to be new to everybody because this is something that yeah. the music the music transcends over generations because I never wanted to make music that put me in a box. Yeah. I always wanted to stand out and I wanted to be able to make things that you can play today or 20 years from now. Yeah, so that's the thing with just the music videos. And, you know, I will say Harris Gang is crazy right now. My whole my whole squad, the Harris Gang is crazy. We all we're all putting it together. Championship rings, y'all. Championship <laughs> rings. We we got them. <laughs> so you're also modeling. Yes. Talk to me about the latest stuff with this. Oh my goodness, we have um, we did NYSFE, New York Summer Fashion Explosion, which was crazy. Oh, it was fucking nuts. Um, we did a uh, New York Fashion Week. And as of right now, the biggest show that we have to end the year is going to be Winter Wonderland in Richmond, Virginia. And this show is produced by McKinney Walker and Miss Asia Lays. And it's about to be crazy. The Suit Brothers got me wearing some, oh my God. When I tell y'all the Suit Brothers got me coming out there crispy. I'm going to be crispy this year. So. Uh, I, I just, I'm blessed, man. I've worked my butt off in every lane to be yes. this guy. And I feel like now that I've trademarked and branded me as a product, now those NIL deals are coming. So <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> okay, so obviously the next couple questions that I have mm -hmm. <laughs> will be seen somewhere other than uh, where we usually put our stuff for... All sorts of crazy people who watch my stuff and then get mad. Uh, <laughs> I'm with it. But, so, you know that me and a couple other people in this room, and I'm not going to say their names, I'm just going to point, um, <laughs> are doing uh, adult content now. Yes. What are some of your advice on shit that we should be doing besides all the stuff you've already seen that we're doing? I would say get your safe for work stuff prepared yeah. to transcend to your not safe for work stuff. <laughs> so learn what your niche is and literally take it over okay because your brand and your product is going to be different from say the next young lady's product yeah. you have to know that if it's going to be POV style be the best at it yeah. if it's going to be foot fetish be the best at it if it's going to be a motherfucker farting in your face Make sure that they eat the right beans to get that shit going, right? Uh, I would say for any aspiring talent, 
get the right consultation first. Yeah. Because the consultation is not only about money. Stop thinking it's about money. Fuck y'all if y'all think that that's what it's all about. Get the right consultation. Because the consultation not only gives you foresight, but it gives you these instructions and these keys and these gems that nobody else is going to just give out for free. Yep. I mean, even on podcasts now, I may say some things, but they don't translate because some people just won't get it. Yeah. You're not over here in this industry, so it doesn't <laughs> translate to you. That's right. But I will say, if, if I was starting a new female talent right now, I would literally tell her, you don't have to be this one, this one, or this one, or this one. Be you. Be unique. Be divine within your uniqueness. And make them all suck. Okay, well, that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, before we let you go, by the way, I just, today you have impressed the shit out of me. Thank you. Even more than the last 10 years that I've known you. <laughs> Thank you. And I am so happy that you are doing all the shit you are doing. Yeah, I, I never thought that, even now, that this was the end all say all. I never put all my eggs in this basket because it's forever changing. change. Yeah. And sometimes it's not evolving, sometimes it's digressing. But then you always come back to where it started. So, yeah, I never put all my eggs in my basket. And it's a blessing to be able to move within all three industries without having those ripple tons of effects. Because privacy, when it comes to certain things, is very important. And it's an honor to be able to move the way I do. And to be a comedian. You know, I can make anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so before we let you go, how do we get the music and the porn and everything that you so if you want the music, you're going to have to go to O-D-U-B-B-Y on iTunes, right? If you want the music videos, you're going to go to O-D-U-B-B-Y 33 on YouTube. And if you want to see me, you know what I'm saying, do my thing, when it comes to working with beautiful young ladies, you're going to go to alfonzolays.com or www. Pornbreadinc.com. I love the old porn bread. You know the hardest part about that name? <laughs> Fucking YouTube won't let me use it to promote my product. Oh, really? Yeah, no, fuck that. They're not going to have that. You, you're just porn bread, literally. So what I was I was thinking about being an asshole and making porn. Like, right? Like porn and then have the bread built like a sexy ass woman. <laughs> just to be a dickhead, right? <laughs> but I know better. <laughs> I know better. You are amazing, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for watching, JBJ TV.